Hello guys, what I'm going to show you today is how you can create a sub workflow in EditN. Okay, now sub workflows are going to allow you to use modularity, meaning that you're going to be able to basically, you know, use a certain workflow to trigger another workflow. Okay, which is pretty cool. So what are you going to do? You're going to go to your workflows in here, and you need two workflows at least. Okay, you need your parent workflow and your child workflow, which is going to be the sub workflow. Let's go to the parent workflow. You know which is gonna be A in this case. As you can see, it's a very complex workflow, okay? But what really matters is that at the end of this workflow, wh whatever your workflow does, you're gonna have to add a new node, which is gonna be called execute workflow, okay? So just, you know, I'm gonna delete this for a second, but just add a new node, and it's gonna be called execute sub workflow. Just click in here. Now you're gonna select the workflow that you wanna execute, which in my case is gonna be the child workflow is going to be called B in my case okay and that's pretty much it for this okay just have to select this little node in here now let's save this <clears throat> and let's go back to our list of workflows now let's go to our child workflow which is going to be B what are we going to do is we're going to add a first step which is going to be a trigger which is going to be this one actually when executed by another workflow okay this is the one what this, what this means is that this is going to take actually the input from the A workflow, from the parent workflow. And here you can decide or you can define what is going to be the input, right? And you can use certain fields from the A workflow. So yeah, just you can just click on add fill in here and you can add a different kind of fields that you may have in your A workflow. For example, you might have something like a data. This is going to be like a variable, a name, a first name, a company, an email. So these are the, the things that you can use in this workflow from the A workflow, okay? And then you can just add your different nodes as normal, as usual. If you wanna send an email, you wanna do whatever, you can just add the different nodes. So that's pretty much it, and thank you so much, guys.